So my research focuses on repurposing a drug that is used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes to improve treatments for ovarian cancer. And I really hope there are at least a few Pokemon Go players in the room. So ovarian cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer-related death in, deaths in women. And the main treatments for ovarian cancer are surgery and chemotherapy. But these often don't work because the tumour becomes immunosuppressed. And this is represented by an inactive Pokestop. So the term immunosuppressed tumour means immune cells, which are cells that can help fight the cancer, can't get into the tumour environment. And this allows the cancer to grow and spread. So in Pokemon, when a Pokestop releases Pokeballs, it becomes inactive. Similarly, an ovarian tumour becomes immunosuppressed when it releases this protein called DPP4. So there is a drug called Cetagliptin, as represented by this Magikarp, that is currently used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Just like how Magikarp can evolve into a beautiful Gyarados, Cetagliptin has evolved into a drug that can potentially be used for the treatment of ovarian cancer. So this drug, Cetagliptin, can inhibit the DPP4 protein. This term turns your inactive Pokestop, or immunosuppressed tumour, into an active Pokestop, or immunoreactive tumour. An immunoreactive tumour can produce a different protein, known as CXCL10, and this is shown by the Lua module. So in Pokemon, when you have a Lua module on a Pokestop, it attracts really, really cute Pokemon to the site. Similarly, when an immunoreactive tumour produces CXCL10, it can attract immune cells to the tumour site. Immune cells in the tumour environment can then help fight the cancer cells, which will ultimately lead to a better patient outcome. Therefore, cetagliptin can be used to improve ovarian cancer treatments and reduce ovarian cancer-related deaths. Ovarian cancer, gotta treat them all.